Hi guys and welcome back. Hello if you guys are new. Hello to all of those who have stuck around, who are old school, who you kind of like know the drill by now. I hope you guys are having a good day. So um, today's video is definitely relatable if you guys are a Facebook user or a matter of fact if you just use a lot of social media. Now on Facebook they've started to use a lot of like ads that just come up randomly on your timeline which to be honest I kind of like because the majority of them are clothing stores. You guys know how much I just love shopping for clothes. However, I've never ever ever actually gone onto these clothing sites and really seen what they actually sell. Um, so I decided to go onto the first five clothing stores that I saw and decided to buy some clothes from each one. Most of the clothes that I bought were under $10. I think there was maybe like two different clothes, two different like items that was like under $15. But like in pounds, I think that's something like 12 pounds. So it's still like pretty affordable. So I'm very excited because honestly, like these look so good like for the value of money but in real life like is it actually gonna be like that like the reality of it I'm not entirely sure hopefully fingers crossed that would be literally amazing so I really hope you guys do enjoy the video I'm gonna give completely my honest review and opinions um, smash a big thumbs up if you guys do and subscribe down below if you guys haven't already and be sure to subscribe as well because I'm gonna do a lot more videos like this kind of like reviewing online affordable stores like clothes and makeup and different things you know so be sure to subscribe and without further ado let's get into the video one thing I found from doing this is that majority of the stores sell the same things as each other however like the prices do vary so make sure you guys do look around when you're buying these items from the stores so the first shop is Romwe I did necessarily buy this in order but I'm gonna show you what I bought from here first so I got actually just trousers from Romney I got Romney? Rom, Rom Wee, right? <laughs> so the first thing I've got is definitely a risk. These are a pair of boyfriend jeans. Now I think boyfriend jeans are hard to get from any store because you kind of want them to be tight around the waist but like loose on the leg. But these do actually look really nice. The fabric is definitely nicer than what I thought it was going to be. However, they look absolutely flipping huge. I don't know because they're called boyfriend jeans if they mean that me and my boyfriend could both get inside. Um, but they might be deceiving, you know. I might try them on and they might might be they might just fit perfectly you know um so let's give these go so obviously i thought these were going to be like literally huge but you know what it definitely is deceiving i think these are they definitely could be like tighter and stuff around the waist like if it was pulled in they'd be like a lot nicer but i actually do think these are actually really cute and i tried on so many different boyfriend jeans from different stores and to be honest i don't think these are any worse than the others i actually think this is kind of a success quite like them i do Next up, I've got these kind of like smart joggers that I wear all the time. I love getting these from places like Bershka and like Pull and Bear. They do amazing ones. So, in fact, these do look a little bit different. They've got an elasticated waist. Oh my goodness, quite tight elasticated waist actually. Okie dokie, I'm not too sure how I feel about these. The fabric, and not even just the fabric, they kind of just look like men's pajama bottoms. I don't think these actually particularly look like the picture, just by the fabric and stuff. But again, you never know, I could try them on and they could look amazing. So let's give it a go. These are the most uncomfiest things. I've just pulled it like this and they've just split. Um, they're so uncomfy, honestly. I don't think I'm gonna give these a thumbs up. I would not wear them out. And they don't even feel like pajama bottoms. They look like it, but they definitely don't feel like it. Like, within me wearing this for two seconds, this has like split and ripped. Um, it's also just like really uncomfy fabric. And also they're just like super itchy as well. Right, so the very last pair of trousers that I got from Romwe. Again, I feel like this was like the biggest risk. Like trousers are, I don't know. So these are very like on a trend um, trousers. They are so cute. I love the stripe going down the side. I honestly think it's so cool. And I kind of like bought these thinking that I could wear it for like a night out or like a party or something. But honestly, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's literally like a sweatshirt kind of like material. I thought it would be more shiny. Um, but again, it might look great on. Absolutely awful. I wouldn't even wear them indoors, mom. These are absolute, I don't want to put it down on, but these are awful. I wouldn't even wear these indoors for comfort. Although they're quite comfy. I think this was one size and I think that's why I bought them. And do you know what, this is not good for one size because I'm very short and these are just kind of like neither here or there. Like 
they're like ankle swingers like they're not long enough and they're not short enough to be three quarter lengths so what really are they if you're taller than me then you've definitely got three quarter lengths moving on so the next site i bought from was wish i got two different well i got one top in like two different colors because i love the top so much so i got it in gray and like a baby blue so this is the top first thoughts I think it is super, super, super cute. I'm gonna look so cute, like, in the summer. This was only $3, and, like, I don't think I would ever guess that, like, this was $3. However, looking at the, um, rose, it kind of looks like it's lifting up. It looks like it's just had, like, four stitches on it. But you do kind of get what you pay for, so obviously I completely understand that. Plus, like, if you're a mom or, you know, somebody that's, like, good, like, with a needle, good at stitching, then they can just stitch this on for you, you know? And then, just really quickly, this is the top in the blue style and oh my goodness I love it so much it's so cute and it's like so summery so I'm very excited to wear this and I definitely think I will wear this like when I'm away like in a hot country this is what the blue top looks like on I actually think it is so cute honestly like I would definitely wear this out I think I would wear it like maybe over a bikini or something just like throw it on on holiday uh, I think it's actually yeah I really 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 like it I think it's definitely worth the purchase three dollars i mean come on like obviously the stitching isn't the best but like it's super cute and i would go and buy it again i've literally never heard or seen this one before i think it's shishik or sishik how you pronounce it i don't know let me know down below because i think i'm pronouncing this completely wrong but this one i'm mostly excited for because i would genuinely buy this from like a like if i saw this like in the shops like from what i saw online i would definitely want to go and buy it so so Cute. so pretty much is this okay not so cute in real life um but it was so cute online so it's this red ice cream jumper right honestly obviously I'm, I'm leaving up the pictures of what they look like online look at this and look at this that is that is not the same thing I'm sorry I did not pay for that sure I know you like you get for what you pay for but that, that is really bad. Like, this bit looks so cheap here. And the fabric does feel absolutely disgusting. Honestly, you can get sweatshirts for, like, affordable, cheap prices. This fabric, and I don't mean to, like, put a down up, but, like, I can't, I don't know what it's called, but you know that fabric when you're younger, like, you cut it up as a kid? That's what this feels like. And, like, it actually is disgusting. Like, not only does it look nothing like the picture, it actually feels so gross. Now, this is just awful, not gonna lie. Uh, I've just realised that it's actually that felt material and you wouldn't wear felt. You know, like, what those, like, cheap Father Christmas um, outfits are made out of? This is what this is, okay? So it feels disgusting. It also does not sit very nicely and it's just not very cute. Like, it's one of those things you'd walk past and be like, what the hell is that? I'm a good believer of you get what you pay for, but this is an absolute no-go. Next up is from a shop called either Sheen Shine. Again, I don't know how to pronounce it. It. so i got this kind of like um distressed jumper it's like a crop jumper this actually first thoughts and look at this i think this is actually so nice honestly like if this was in top shop for like 30 pounds or something i would probably buy it like i actually love this i love all the cuts on the sleeve i think it's super cute it's very me it looks really cozy the fabric actually looks really good this is what it kind of like looks like from the back it's like distressed at the bottom um but yeah i think this is so nice i'm so excited to try this on and i think this might just be my favorite thing yet and to be honest this is the only one that looks like actually like the picture like identical you know i love this jumper i think it's so nice it's a really 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 good quality actually uh i would wear it out which is always a bonus um, the only thing is I probably would size up just because I like my things being a bit more oversized But overall I do really like the jumper. This is what the back looks like. Obviously it's like distressed at the back I can't really twist from the back, but I love it Okay, so Zaffle, I obviously, I think everybody's heard of Zaffle, the online clothing store I ordered a bunch of stuff from their site and I've only got one thing, okay? Uh, and this is one thing that I probably wasn't going to show, but now we're showing it because I have nothing else to show you guys. It's a pyjama set, but it's like a vest and shorts. Like, this is actually so pretty, to be fair. But like, where the heck is my other stuff? I have no idea because I think it's been over 20 days. But this is what it looks like. And then this is what the shorts look like. like they are super, super, super cute. And I don't think it's very expensive. Like, I do actually really like this. 
Um, but I'm just kind of concerned where my other stuff is. I don't know if you guys have ever ordered from Zaffle. Is it gonna turn up? I have no idea. So everyone, this is the lounge set. I completely forgot to insert the clip earlier, hence why I've got no makeup on right now because I'm filming this at night time. Um, but this is the lounge set. Uh, it's actually really pretty, but it's so flipping small. Now this is a size medium, and I definitely wouldn't consider myself a size large, like in pajamas and stuff. Um, but I would have to have like an extra large in this. Like it's so tight. Like especially around my boobs um, so size up if you're gonna get this but other than that it's really nice so I'm just looking at my next item from Sheen and I'm just thinking what the hell have I ordered like, I, I do remember ordering this but it looks so cute online so it's just like pink pastel like baby pink um, hoodie and it has like these like, little love heart um, elbows and honestly online I thought it was so cute because they used to sell one really similar to this on the website Boohoo which is like really flipping cute um, but I'm just thinking what the hell is this because it just doesn't really look that cute I don't know it's just it looks a bit too basic I don't know online it just looks so much more it kind of like is like what it looks like to be fair but it just I don't know I just expected it to be cuter in real life it's just um yeah it just kind of is what it is actually I completely take this back because I actually think this is like really cute on because you can kind of like see the hearts and they're quite obvious um, and yeah I think it actually sits quite nicely especially compared to like the other jumpers that I've tried on so far but yeah the hearts are actually like really cute and I think they would last quite a I don't know actually how many washes would it take but definitely I don't know it's like good value for money really but yeah I do actually quite like this jumper and again I think I probably would wear it I also just found this at the bottom of the Romwe bag actually I didn't realize that this was in there uh, so this is like a cropped yellow jumper that I got and I do actually love this so much so it's got like checkered sleeves and they had this in so many different colors and like this is kind of like my style like I love things like this I just love checkered clothing um, so I think this is actually super cute and I definitely will wear it the fabric is really thin and it does kind of look like somebody's cut it themselves like with a pair of scissors however I do actually still think this is really cute and I would wear it but I think I would have to wear maybe like I don't know like a yellow crop top or something underneath because it is really really see-through and thin everybody please excuse my hair because honestly it's driving me insane every single time that I get changed it it falls out so we're just dealing with this at the moment but this jumper is pretty much what I said like it is really cute um, I do really like it however as I said like it is very see-through and thin uh, but again it is kind of like you get what you pay for so I would definitely wear something better underneath I'm having a bright pink bra on right now I don't know if you can see that um, but I do so everybody that is the end of the video now I feel like I don't know it's kind of like 50 50 some of the stuff was good I don't know if that was by luck or not however some of it didn't really look like what I expected it to look like. I don't know, it's kind of like a 50-50 overall. I'm still obviously waiting for my Zaffle order and I did order this like probably over 20 days ago now. So I don't know where the heck that is, especially because one of the items has turned up and I did order quite a bit from there, like summer clothes and stuff. So I'm kind of gutted about that and I definitely will be contacting them and obviously updating you guys over on my vlogging channel. If you don't subscribe, you should. Um, but yeah, like the other stores came in like a decent amount of time, like Romwe actually came like really surprisingly quick, so I was very happy about that. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope it was helpful and useful to you. I will leave the clothes down below for you guys to go and check out. Thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll get to see you guys very, very soon.